We are following tonight radioactive iodine from that tsunami rocked nuclear power plant in Japan showed up in drinking water at three Philadelphia water treatment plants. The discoveries were made at the Queen Lane, Belmont, and Baxter water treatment plants, but the Environmental Protection Agency says the water is not dangerous. Fox 29's Seanette Wilson is in the newsroom now with a look at what is going on here with the water, Seanette. Yeah, Joyce, we are number 14 on the list of states to have radioactive iodine from Japan in our drinking water, but the headline here is that we have the high highest levels detected of all those states so far. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency says no cause for concern by its standards, but as you can imagine, others will disagree with that. For those who say this is below permissible limits or safe limits, there is no safe limit. All radiation is harmful, even at the lowest doses. Joe Mangano with the Radiation Health Project isn't surprised that radioactive iodine from Japan is showing up in drinking water here in Philadelphia, but he is concerned. The amounts are the highest from Japan detected here so far in the United States. It's a tricky thing to get your hand on. First of all, there's nothing to see, there's nothing to hear, there's nothing to, to taste or smell. Radiation is in the air and in the milk and the water, but you, you can't see it unless you detect it. So there, there's, there's sort of a tendency to uh, pu push it aside. The report from the EPA states three drinking water samples from here at the Belmont Treatment Plant, Queens Lane and Baxter, contain iodine-131. But the EPA says the sample is still below its maximum containment level for iodine. Mangano warns, though, not to assume that means it is harmless. The reality is, this is the water we drink, cook with, and bathe in. Cancer is the first one. Birth defects is another one. Um, there are other um, in infections is another one. Um, but especially when we're talking about the infants and children, uh, infant deaths, uh, premature births, underweight births, uh, babies born with an underactive thyroid gland. The EPA doesn't recommend any precautions, but Mangano does. How long this radiation from Japan is present is totally unknown at this point because the meltdowns are still occurring. They, are, they have not been controlled yet, so it could go on for a while. Would you say drink the water still? Yes, but be, but be careful, but be aware. All right, so Mangano's wife is a nurse. She looks at it from a different perspective than scientific. She says filters on everything. Even before the fallout from Japan, she would recommend them, Joyce, but even more so than now. Well, Seanette, it's detected here in the drinking water in Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. There are reports of that radioactive iodine showing up in milk there. What next? Good question. Who knows? Because the situation in Japan, as you know, still isn't resolved. Mangano told me iodine-131 in U.S. air and precipitation in March, 20 times greater than normal because of releases from those meltdowns in Japan. So no matter how small the levels, we've heard this time and time again, effects of radiation often take years to show up. So be aware is the key. All right. Be aware indeed. Trinette Wilson, thank you so much from the newsroom.